name is William, and I hope you are enjoying GitLab Commit. In this demo, I will walk you through the deployment of an application powered by machine learning models. You will learn how using the power of GitLab and DevOps, you can automate several steps from your deployments, mixing traditional software engineering practices with machine learning pipelines to deploy better and more robust applications. This is my repository. I have a chatbot project. The one that to be deployed requires several steps to be executed. Let me show you how the chatbot pipeline looks like. Let's use this one as an example. When I create a pipeline in GitLab, I get this visual representation. Here, we can see the steps for this machine learning powered application. I need first to test the platform Make sure that it has the requirements needed, such as the proper version of the dialog engine, the training data that the application will use to learn. Once I know I have the proper version of the library and training data, I can move on and train a model, which I will do from GitLab on this step. GitLab will generate a machine learning model as an artifact that now I can use to test it against, against my dataset in this step, I am finding the performance of the model I just trained. And be it an experiment or a deployment to production, I need to keep track and a paper trail of my experiments, results, and, and other metrics. And that's why there is a specific job for that. In this job, we will create a report for me in which I, in which I can observe my model metrics. And lastly, if I'm happy with the model performance, I will pack the model and deploy it to production, where it will be able to start having conversations with real people. That's what a chatbot actually does. Okay, so now let's find out how to create this chatbot pipeline. For this, let's go through the GitLab CI YAML file and let's draw in parallel the steps that we depicted before. We start defining as default the Rasa Dialog Engine Container image. This is the image we will use in most of the jobs that involve machine learning. Here, I am bringing this image to my runners. The, the steps we saw before are defined here as, as stages in this YAML file. So here I want to test, do we have the Dialog Engine version we want? Is the training data pre-processed and in a format that we need to feed it to the learning algorithm? If yes, we make available the data for the next job. Knowing the data is properly processed, we can feed it to the model and train it. And when the training is completed, I define an artifact, which in this case is the actual model. Our artifact will be the brain of the chatbot. And once I define it, I can use it in the next steps of my, of my pipeline. Okay, and in this step, I want to test it and find out how well the model performs using data it hasn't seen before. This will give me an idea of how it could perform in real life. The report that this step generates is a messy JSON. So observe here the power of the pipelines in GitLab. I can execute custom scripts that will organize that messy JSON for me and put it in a more readable way. Plus, doing something very cool, I will add the results automatically to the wiki of the project. Here, you can see I am consuming GitLab wiki API to write the nicely formatted result to the wiki of the project. If you want to know more, please visit the GitLab API documentation. And if all the steps so far were successful, it will conclude taking our trained model, tested model to the production server. Here, I am posting the model using the server API for this purpose. And lastly, probably you noticed there were some variables in the GitLab CI YAML file, variables that potentially have sensitive information. For such cases, you define those variables under settings, CI CD. And remember, we had a wiki step or where we create some report. This is an example of an auto-generated report created as an output of the pipeline. Okay, so we have all the pieces. Let's 
see the GitLab flow for updating a chatbot in production. Let's check it out how it will look like. So as usual, everything starts with an issue. In this issue, I will explain what words need to be included in the chatbot database. From the issue, I can create a merge request. Let's click on that. Now, to work on the changes, I want to use GitLab Web IDE. I locate the file in charge of the chatbot knowledge base data. Then I add the corresponding words I want the chatbot to learn. And when I'm ready, I just click on commit. And this is the only manual step or intervention, intervention we need so far. Then GitLab will start the corresponding pipelines that if successful, I will be able to merge the change into the main branch and serve the application into production environment or the environment that you might define. Here we can see the merge request and the pipeline were successful. And as a part of the merge request, I get a little plot showing me the performance of the model when classifying intents. Let's say that I am happy with such a result, so I merge it. The deployment pipeline starts and we'll end up with the model served into a production environment for this scenario. This is the machine learning model server. Here we can see it was successfully deployed and made active. It is ready to be used by end users. Cool, so we learned how machine learning pipelines can benefit from GitLab. Bringing to life machine learning powered applications that use DevOps practices. Revisiting the original process steps, we can see all the potential of going from manual and error prone steps to fully automated ones. Making this way the life of the developers and machine learning engineers easier. Thank you for watching.